What is going on, my divine, my fine ass, feminine? Hey, baby girls, it is your world. What's poppin'? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Yes, and damn, Didi, I am back at it again to let you know what energies are surrounding you for mid-April the 15th through the 30th. What's up, boo? What's going on on my babies? Hey, my babies in the Mercedes. What's going on, girls? Hmm. Listen. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to all of you guys. Thank you guys for all of the love and light. I will see all of my beautiful, beautiful ladies for the Divine Feminine Daily Bread. And yes, we have a good time because, listen, we strong and we going on, okay? We strong and we going on out here, okay? So, what's up to all my new subscribers and all of the new people clicking onto this video? Make sure that y'all follow us over to the Divine Feminine Daily Bread, all right, during the week, okay? So, listen... If anyone wants to book a personal or private reading, you can do so by clicking my About tab. What you need to do, you need to click the link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me, all right? Select the reading, and then you need to come back to the About tab, and you need to select a video platform. I only do video readings unless you want to pay $10 for um, an add-on for a personal uh, YouTube upload. Now, when you pay for that, okay... You will not be able to interact with me like with a personal reading, so keep that in mind. But I understand that certain people do not feel comfortable getting on camera. So you always do have that option for that $10 add-on for a direct video, um, private video upload to YouTube, okay? So first book the reading, then you book the, uh, I mean, then you send me a message on the video platform on my Instagram. It's in the About tab. You can send me a private message on there and just say, hey. Reds, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this day, and then we will connect on that day and time for that reading, okay? Or, if you don't have an Instagram, you can always send me a message on um, Google Hangouts. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, that's scorpionreds at gmail.com, just in case you would prefer to use Google Hangouts as your video chat preference, all right? If this video resonates and you want to leave a love donation, my PayPal is in the description as well as the About tab, okay? So you can feel free. And as you can see, my new decks have came in. Yes, indeed for mystic moon mm -hmm. so shout out to all of you guys sending a dollar ten a two it don't matter because every time y'all send something i put it right back into the page and you guys are going to be you know getting a taste of these new decks and i hope that you love them and this is going to be my first time trying this one I have an additional deck that's coming as well. So, yeah, we'll be looking out for that as well. So let's get into the reading, okay? Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here. Father, let me tell you, it's a little rainy outside, but you know, I love these rainy days, Father. It's something about that cool breeze with that rain. It's like that, um, it's, it, it's something about that cool breeze that nice cool calming rain father where you could just open up your windows and just like that's 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 where i'm at right now it, at least that's the weather that i'm experiencing right now and it's you know we just had the full moon the other day father god you know so i just listen we are feeling crystal clear, Father, and we love those rain showers. It's feeding the earth. It's moisturizing the earth. We ain't trying to be out here dry, Father. Come on, Father. Come on, Father. We ain't trying to be out here dry. Listen, we love, you know, it's just, man, we just respecting nature right now. We loving the way things is flowing in our life. You know, sometimes we become, listen, you know, rainstorms ain't never what people really want. But when you get to the point where you can open up that window during a storm and enjoy the breeze that's coming through and you enjoy, listen, <laughs> that's a whole totally different way of weathering the storm. You embracing the storm. You be like, oh, I love this. Oh, this, this wind feels so good. This, just this, this water on my back cleanse me. It's like a, um, a, a, a natural cleansing from the earth and shit. Like, so... Some of us, lady, we like in the store. We like cleanse and wash it off. Get it and get, come on now, come on now. We done got to the point where we ain't scared of the storm no more. Have we not transitioned, ladies? Hmm. Have we not? Are we not the same person that we was last year? Oh no, my dear. No, no, no. 
Mm -mm. That hoe had to go. Uh huh. That one that was begging, crying, worried. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We don't do that. We don't do that, honey. Mm -mm. We a whole totally horse of a different color, honey. Mm -hmm. Father God, thank you for all of the colors and the light and the illumination and the glow and just all of the different type of elements that you're bringing into our new world, Father. We love the sunshine. We love the rain. We love the butterflies. We love walking around with our feet in the grass. Because, you know, last year we wouldn't dare take our shoes off and walk bare feet in the grass. Uh-uh. It's something about putting our feet in that soil, Father. Oh, we just totally different. And we thank you. Mm. We are really becoming and understanding what it is to be and truly say we are the divine feminine. Because I don't think last year we was truly the divine feminine. We might have said we was, but I don't think we act like it and we truly knew what it was. Oh, no. We are She-Ra. Mira. You feel me? Mira. She-Ra. That is what I am. That is what we are. And that is what we are destined to be. That's why we went through what we went through. And that's why we're going where we're going. And that's why God is showing us what he needs to show us because we are walking to our true divine masculine. Leave that fuck shit in the past, okay? Give us guidance. Father, forgive me for cursing. Give me guidance for my divine, fine feminine, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful divine, fine feminine for me April the 15th through the 30th. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons. Thank you for the growth Thank you for this glow up, Father God. Please give us guidance. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for this glow up. Please give us guidance. For the divine feminine. Mid-April. What type of mermaid? And what type? Because you know we navigate these waters. Right now we navigate these waters. People scared of the rain. Oh no. We ain't scared of a flood, bitch. <laughs> We ain't scared of it because God made us built to last, honey. Uh-uh. We was built for this. We was built for this. Uh-uh. Come on now. Tuh. Tuh. Hold on. We showing the whole tail out here. Hard to buy feminine. You showing that ass. You showing your tail out here. Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all thought we was going to sink and we was going to drown. No, 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 no. We was made for this baby. Give us guidance. The time and the tide. Oh, spells and rituals. <laughs> Yearning. But this was in the... This is in the... Dreams. Vivid dreams, messages. Dream teaching. Oh, wow. Ooh, what the fuck is going on here, Divine Feminine? What the hell going on here? We talking about oceanic spells and rituals? The yearning came in, out in the reverse. The yearning, longer for someone, undesired separation, pinging. Now this was in the... Is, are y'all doing some type of oceanic spells and rituals to stop the yearning? <laughs> Dreams. Vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. Mmm. Oh, wow. You know what I... Ooh, ladies. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Time and tide. All right. So I feel like some of you guys might be practicing some type of rituals right now. Nothing bad. But like on some real self-love rituals of making sure that you guys trying to sit down and um, like do your spiritual baths, your, your cleansings, like maybe once a month or something like that. Or you guys sit down and make sure that you, uh, you really do your prayer every night. Because I feel like some of you guys, your dreams have been invaded. I feel like y'all's dreams are being invaded. And there's somebody yearning from you and you're trying to block that. And you don't want this person. And someone has been trying to contact you through your dreams and send you messages in your dreams. Also, um, 
I feel like spirit has been trying to teach you certain things also when you're in that dream realm. And um, it's a lot for you to learn there because you have been having a lot of vivid dreams and trying to maybe decipher what certain messages mean. Dream messaging, dream teaching. But there's someone yearning for you guys that it seems like you're trying to block. And that you're doing some type of self-love ritual or something just like, listen, Father God, before I go to bed, I'm blocking this energy. I do not want this in my, uh, sub in my uh, subconscious mind. This is not my energy. I am not yearning. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want this person keep trying to, you know, cross this barrier. Like, I feel like some of you guys are really trying to put a barrier up because maybe you and your past partner had some type of telepathic or you know y'all talk to each other without speaking to each other through like you know telepathic communication and speaking to each other through um dream messages like when you guys go to sleep you guys can connect in that realm almost on a daily you know on a daily basis it's like every time that you go to sleep you guys connect there and i feel like you want to block that you want to block that. But at the same time, you're trying to figure out why. <laughs> like, why is this is this going on? So, let's get some in-depth information. Spirit, please give me some guidance surrounding the divine feminine. The time and tide. Yearning and dreams. Give me guidance in regards to the divine feminine. For mid-April. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Please give me guidance for the divine for me. What does it say? The page of one, excitement and curiosity, but this came out in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Independence. The Magician. <laughs> what is this? The Nine of Cups in reverse. The World in reverse. The Three of Swords heartbreak. Okay. Oh, goodness, it's going to take me getting used to looking at these cards. Huh? This is my first reading with these cards, y'all. Okay, so. The Page of Wands and the Eight of... I, I feel like right now with this, um, there's no excitement and like curiosity in regards to... You don't want any messages being sent to you from anybody in any type of way, in any realm, shape, or form. Like, you guys are, like, truly, you're only focused on yourself. You're trying to paint the perfect picture of this new person that you are in this new world that you are. Like, you're focused on yourself. You're only working on yourself. You don't have any desire, especially not to speak to anybody that wants to, like, communicate with you on some sex-based shit. So, I feel like... On a level in regards to these dreams, like maybe you may be having a lot of like sex based dreams, like maybe someone from your past, like having sex, you know, like I having sex or something in, in this dream. And you're just like, I don't want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I just no, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want, I don't want any communication in the physical, in the <laughs> conscious, in the subconscious. Like, I don't want. To communicate with you. I'm too busy working on me right now. Working on me. <laughs> and being independent. And being successful. Like honestly and truly. Manifesting. This brand new beginning. And I'm like truly successful. And like living my best. Like man. And it's springtime. <laughs> Honey. to. <laughs> And the divine feminine. Let me try to tell you, the divine feminine is 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 manifesting um <laughs> abundance and prosperity because rejecting messages that would distract them from them being successful and, and abundant. 
Like, the Eight of Pentacles, they're working on their progress. They're working progress. They're working on their self to be successful on their own and independent. So I feel like the Divine Feminine is, they're manifesting solid. They're using all of the powers, all of the strength in them, you know. And I do feel like the <laughs> in this magician energy, they are manifesting only what they want. And if they don't want someone contacting them, them in their dreams, they may be doing some <laughs> oceanic rituals. They may be in a shower. And it might not even be like a ritual like how y'all think it is. It just may be the divine feminine every day when she's in the, in the shower while she's in there washing her face and in the water thinking about what this new beginning is like this new business that she's trying to create this new uh job advancement whatever it is she's focusing on her money and her foundation and her career and i feel like she constantly on a daily basis thinks about that she keeps her mind on that she keeps her body on that you understand she keeps her body moving towards these manifestations and it's coming to fruition so if she feels like this communication is distracting her towards this independence and like financial abundance oh honey then she will <laughs> she will do just what she's doing to attract the same thing to her in regards to her financial realm she would do the same thing she would sit there in that shower every day i don't know why this person keeps to come talking to me in my dreams father god please uh -uh -uh, uh -uh. and then shower would do that shit every day uh -uh, uh -uh. i'm focused on me uh -uh, uh -uh. and her just putting that energy into saying uh -uh. you know it don't seem like what y'all think is like a ritual, but it is a ritual. Her looking at herself in the mirror every day saying, I'm fucking good <laughs> and I'm painting the perfect picture for me. I'm, I'm pulling shit off. That, I'm pulling shit off that goddamn um, Houdini couldn't pull off. Bitch, I am Houdini right now. All right. To. To. All right. There is no emotional fulfillment. It's enough there communicating like it, no there was no emotional fulfillment in anything in the past and that shit in the past it was listen heartbreak and i feel like this person um you keep dreaming about this shit and this person invading your dreams that's how you feel because for for divine feminine to feel like she needs to look herself in the mirror in the shower and sit in the shower and sing lullabies and hums to get this motherfucker out of her brain so this person can't invade her dream space because it's triggering her to think back to that heartbreak and stuff like that she don't want that shit in her space that shit made her unhappy her world is moving forward. She done closed that cycle already. You know? So stop trying to open up. We trying to open up a wound and shit. Trying to talk to a motherfucker. And like, listen. You see these jellyfish around her in, 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 in this water? Like jellyfish stings and shit. Like whatever she dreaming about, that shit stinging. That shit stinging. And I, she don't want no reminder of you. She don't want no motherfucker reminder of you. Okay, so she got to sit and say some kumbaya, some Hail Marys, and some All Fathers, okay? Okay, to get you the fuck out her. Listen, and the only reason, Divine Feminine, why y'all having those dreams like that, because this motherfucker is yearning for you. This motherfucker is yearning for you. Because y'all seen this fall out like this. This did not fall out in the upright saying the divine feminine is yearning for this person. This person is yearning for you. Okay. This person is longing for someone. Undesired separation. Pinning. Okay. They're trying to send you a pinning sensation in the dream. Because listen. <laughs> they are yearning for you and you are just, you, you're not there. That's the only way that they feel like they can communicate with you is to invade you in 
your dream space. And divine feminine is not going for that shit. They're like, look, don't make me motherfucking roll some tea leaves around in my bath water, okay, bitch? <laughs> Do not make me run some tea leaves around in my goddamn bath water, bitch. Because I'll listen. Don't make me go up on YouTube and figure out how to block your ass out my goddamn dreams, bitch. Okay? What? What y'all said I gotta do? Shit. Take a bath with some dandelions and some honey and shit. Oh, okay. Shit. Now, I, ladies, I'm not saying that that's what you gotta do. I don't know. I'm just talking off the side of my ass. But, honey. <laughs> Because I have no idea what type of rituals and spells it is that you got to do. But I listen. Some of y'all like, because I really do feel whatever these dreams are, they are stinging. Jellyfish sting. That's not a good feeling. Don't nobody want to be feeling like that. Like, don't. No, 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 no. You, you going to get the fuck. Get out my head. There's no love there. There's no giving and receiving. No, no, no. No, no, no. Get the fuck out my head, son. Uh-huh. Ain't no balance in my heart about that. No, no, no. We won't go. Look, you strengthening the spiritual bonds with yourself. You grounded as a motherfucker. You like, uh-uh. Get the fuck out my head. Uh-uh-uh. Don't be trying to await no results. <laughs> you str you strengthening your spiritual bonds and you ain't awaiting no results for no fuck shit. You ain't opening up. Okay? You want this motherfucker to move. <laughs> No, like, for real, for real, for real. I feel like right now, Divine Feminine, like, your heart is not in the place to give and receive in regards to love right now. It's just it's just not. Like, you're working on yourself and being successful. Love is a distraction right now for the Divine Feminine. They're not interested in that shit. They have blocked off their heart chakra for a reason. Like, they know what they're doing. It's not that they can't love, but they don't want love. Right now, they're trying to strengthening, they're strengthening their spiritual bonds and getting their self grounded. They're getting their self rooted and their self grounded because you can't be nothing in a relationship if you ain't where you need to be. You need to be solid and whole. And right now, the Divine Feminine is too busy painting the perfect picture of what she wants to be. Because when the bright person comes into her life, God is going to send her, send that person to her. She's going to know exactly who it is. Ain't going to be nobody invading her. Ain't going to be no stinging. Like, nah, this, this is bullshit. And the Divine Feminine is like, honey, I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. Well, let me throw some Florida water. Let me, okay? What? Get out my fucking dreams. Okay? Because I feel like someone is invading your headspace trying to get you all balanced, trying to unroot you from you being as grounded as you is right now. And they're awaiting the results to try to see, oh, you know, if I could c communicate with her in the dreams, like maybe she'll contact me. No, the fuck we're not. No, the fuck we're not. Don't look for us to open up. Stop trying to unroot us from where we're at right now. Trying to get us to open up fucking around with this dumb ass shit. No, no, no. You need to move. And I don't know what your delay is. But honey, don't make me go get some motherfucking oh, some, uh, some Himalayan sea salt and some Epsom salt and some motherfucking honey and some dandelion oil and, 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 oh, uh, uh, the boy. Throw some Florida water in that bad boy. I will what? I will cleanse all. I will dip my whole head in and then spin it around in a circle. Don't do me. I will sage the whole fuck out this whole house right now. Okay? Listen. Divine feminine like nigga. I will sage the whole fuck out my room. I will take a spiritual bath every night. Okay? Divine feminine probably got... <laughs> She don't went on Amazon and don't went and bore her with them dream catchers. This bitch got like seven dream catchers over top of her goddamn bed all over her room like a little father. Father. Look, protect me because it's uh-uh, uh-uh, father. Look, she's spraying my fucking rose water. Father. 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 Okay, like, hold on. <laughs> this nigga crazy. Mm -mm. Stop thinking about me, boy. Stop yelling about me, boy. Go find you a toy, boy. Tell her, Divine Feminine. Tell her. Tell them, Divine Feminine. Say, boy, go find you a toy, boy. What? 
Oi, boy. Oi, boy. Yeah, y'all ain't from DC. I don't know about them oi, boys. What? Fuck you, me. Slap. Say, if you don't get the fuck out of here, mama. <laughs> hey, brother, y'all gonna fuck around. Divine Feminine gonna fill up a super soaker full of some holy, <laughs> full of some Florida water and just go. They're gonna ride by your house and do a drive by with some fucking Florida water. <laughs> Like, this nigga got issues, man. This motherfucker need help. Mm -mm. You need food in your belly. Eat a taco. Mm -hmm. Where's your sense of humor? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck do they got? Hey, but you... <laughs> hey, Slim. The other day when we was doing the Libra read and like, they whole end of their read and everybody was in the comment section putting tacos and money. Tacos and money. Hey, and that shit was so hilarious. So, for, to my Libras, wear your sense of humor. Eat a taco. <laughs> Eat a taco. Because we eating out here. Okay? That's basically what God's saying. We eating out here. Have a sense of humor. Just laugh at these motherfuckers still yearning for you, trying to motherfucker communicate with you. Like, you don't block this nigga that motherfucking good. And the only way that this person can communicate with you is in your fucking dreams. But whole time, you the fucking magician. You done manifested. So this nigga has no idea to how you done elevated and stepped your pussy game up, okay? They don't have no idea who they fucking with. Nigga, poop posh, pu bye. Poof pow, bye. Okay? The hell out my goddamn head. Okay? Laugh. Have you eaten? You acting like a big ass baby. I don't listen. Divine Feminine, what is you sitting around? You not eating? I feel like, okay, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like this shit, these dreams or whatever is triggering to y'all. And maybe it might be stressing some of y'all out. And it's fucking up y'all move forward. Because as y'all can see, y'all world was backwards. You know what I'm saying? Don't let this shit... Fuck up your goddamn, um, do not let this, don't let this motherfucker trying to contact you in your dreams, trying to disturb your peace, because that's what fuck niggas do. They try to disturb your peace, okay? Because they want to wake up the beast, because that's what they want you to do. They want you to get up and contact them and no, 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 no. Hold your shit down, ladies. Hold your shit down. Uh-uh. You yearning. Ain't nobody worried about you. Clearly, Divine Feminist said, ain't no love here. Love don't live here anymore. It's just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> love don't live here anymore. Just emptiness and memories of what we had before. You went away, you found another place to stay. I'm all alone. Child, listen. That's what the divine, <laughs> the divine feminist said. Love don't let me in no more. The divine masculine said, listen. It's just Emptiness and memories of what we had before. <laughs> you went away. I found another place to stay. <laughs> Let's find out what this fuck nigga got to say. What does this fuck nigga got to say to the divine fem on in? What, what, what is what is this this past person got to say? Because I don't call him Divine Masculine. Y'all know I don't. What he got to say? You inspire me. Oh, oh, oh. Do we? <laughs> Would you reject me? Would you respect me? No, nigga. <laughs> Love don't live here anymore. It's just emptiness and memories of what we had before. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get on, boy. 
What do you say? If I knew what I knew now, I would have made a different choices. Face ass nigga. I would have made different choices. Face ass nigga. <laughs> I feel badly for the way I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Oh, we know that. We know that. Love don't live here anymore. <laughs> I never forgotten you even if you think I have. Oh, we know. But love don't live here anymore. <laughs> Face ass nigga. What? And how you like them apples? Hmm? How you like them apples? Alright? Let's see what the Divine Feminine got to say to this bar. Divine Feminine, how you feeling about this bar? You know what? Mm. Mm. I can't give up on my responsibilities right now for you. Fuck, nigga. I ain't got no time for you, bitch. Okay? I ain't got time for yo. I'm over here doing me. I'm twisting and twirling like Merlin. Okay? <laughs> we twisting and twirling like Merlin. Okay, we got our magic wand. We twisting and twirling like Merlin. Got you over there early. Nigga, you sick, ain't you? Ha! <laughs> Nigga, we is twisted and twirling like Merlin. Got you early. You sick, nigga. What? <laughs> Bunty, holy moly, donut shop, bitch. <laughs> You were the only person who truly bit gets me, but karma is a bitch, and I finally got mine. It's fucking with you, okay? That's what the that's what divine feminine is saying. All right, you were the only one who truly gets me, but karma is a bitch, and I got mine. Fucking with you, you understand? So look, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. All right, I know that we went through a lot. And I do feel like for the Divine Feminine, there is a certain level of respect for this person in the past. Because on a certain level, um, I feel like they haven't found someone where they were able to connect with them on that level. Where they kind of, where people kind of know them. Because it's a certain level of history. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they haven't found someone where they can go that deep. Where they went deep with this person. That's why I really hurt so much. That's why I hurt so much. And that's why this person trying to telepathically communicate with this person through, you know, dreams and shit. That shit is stinging like shit because it's just opening that wound back. It's just reminding the divine feminine of that heartbreak. And it's like you're not going to, you know, try to open this wound back up. You, no, 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 no. I closed this chapter. I've closed this for a reason. I can't give up on my... I'm a different person right now. I don't resonate with this i don't even flow on this vibration frequency no more you understand what i'm saying i'm out here eating okay i laugh at you look i laugh at you okay so like i said i'm twisting and twirling like merlin nigga you gonna fuck around i'm gonna burn this you gonna fuck around next time it come up and try to talk to a motherfucking dream nigga you gonna be waking up and you gonna be in a nightmare okay you gonna be in a nightmare on Elm Street. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna fuck your ass up in your dream. Okay? You ever got your ass whooped in your dream before? Okay? Divine Masculine, you know, like, you know, we watching dreams and, or you be in your dreams and somebody trying to attack you and you can barely fight and shit. Yeah, that's gonna be you. Mm hmm. Keep on fuck around. Okay? She gonna twist and twirl like Merle and have you early. How gonna have you wake up sick? Like, what the fuck type of dream is that exactly? Get the fuck out my goddamn head, bitch. Okay? Did you hear that? Oh. Uh, uh oh, 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 okay. We can keep going. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. All right. All right. <laughs> the right feminine not playing with y'all. Ain't no love or nothing, nothing, shit, nothing up there. Only thing she focused on is her money and twi and being Merlin. <laughs> like in the center energy is her being a goddamn magician and her. <laughs> Look. Divine Feminine ain't worried about none of y'all. None of y'all. Child. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
okay boy i'm pretty sure you think that we was a soulmate oh and what the fuck did just flip out over there what lord have mercy i gotta go and get that one what was that <sighs> fresh start no 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 let's see what he talking about he got the soulmate card out here he got shadow work he got fresh start he got the tribe he want his family back okay he realized that he was unawakened okay he going through some grief okay he can't paint the perfect picture in his life no more because the vibe feminine ain't dead that nigga done came to conclusions that nigga about to have a contusion. That nigga came to conclusions like shit, boy. You don't found the key, boy. You realized it was me, boy. You don't found the key, boy. You found out it was we, boy. Divine Feminine, they don't found out it was we. They don't found out it was she. Okay? Divine Feminine say Mira, Shira. Okay? Divine Feminine. Divine Puss. The real one. The real Don Dada. The real Jamaican Don Dada. Okay? Who y'all want to romp with? Okay? So then I found the key and it came to conclusions about some shit just now. Face ass nigga. Okay? Or conclusion head ass. Or contusion head ass. Cause you, your head over there hurt like shit boy. Okay? You can't find a new toy boy. <laughs> Let me stop. He over there and came to conclusion he can't paint a perfect picture over there with them other little dry pussy assholes. Okay? This nigga's in some grief. <laughs> Say it with me, ladies. Go for reef. This nigga. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> face ass, okay? <laughs> Unawakened on face ass. You don't woke up, boy? You don't woke up, boy? You in grief and you don't woke up, boy? Cause you can't find a new toy, boy, that feel as good as this one, boy. But see, we ain't no toy. We ain't, we, we, we don't come to play. We come to sh 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 slay, bitch. Okay, come on, divine. <laughs> divine, fine, feminine. Tell him it costs dividends, okay? He want his tribe back. Really? But you see, you standing on the outside. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Mm-mm. He think you his soulmate. Oh my god. Oh, that's so sweet. Ooh. <laughs> that's so sweet. He want his family back. He won't go back to his soulmate. Oh, that's all. Oh. Ladies. Ain't that so sweet, ladies? Ooh. Look at him. He oh Lord. Look, he awaken now. Ooh. He want his soulmate and his family. Oh, looky, looky. Look at that. Oh, Get your fucking ass out of here, boy. You better go and dig it. You better dig deep and, and do some shadow work. Okay? Boy. Okay? Sure. You better do some shadow work. Okay? If you want this shit to grow. Okay? Because you, uh... Okay, don't nobody got no time for no hoe-ass dick. Don't nobody want no hoe-ass neighborhood dick-ass nigga. Okay? Boy, bye. Good night. Goodbye. Good night and goodbye. And since you want to talk about shadow work, let's go there. Let's go there. And again, these these decks right here, these are all Mystic Moons decks, okay? So like I said, uh, y'all check her out. She has a YouTube page as well. Where she does readings with her decks and a lot of other fabulous other decks. She is an amazing reader. Check her out. What's going on with this man? What is going on with this fake ass divine masculine in the shadows? There's doubt. Oh, yeah, I know. Poor baby. Poor Tink Tink. Poor Tink Tink. Oh, Putin. Oh, Putin Pop. Do you want a jello? Putin Pop. Huh? Huh, Tink Tink? You feeling insecure, Tink Tink? Oh, let me give you a jello. Putin Pop. Face ass. Okay. Oh, you ain't trying to listen. <laughs> you ain't trying to rest in that pity no more. Your ass know you out here looking. You feeling insecure and pitiful. Beyond pitiful. You just out here looking beyond pitiful. For real. That's really crazy. That's, you need to pick yourself up, sir. You need to pick yourself up, sir. This ain't looking cute. 
you tired of taking a non-action approach, really? But you feel uncomfortable. Oh, this poor, that poor tank. Listen, ladies. Since y'all be doing magic rituals and stuff, maybe y'all should just do a magic ritual to help him pull himself up. You know what I'm saying? You need to pray it forward. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all. I heard y'all listen. I know. Like y'all say, fuck this nigga. If I heard you listen, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Fuck that. I hear you. I right, but listen. Sometimes God just wants us to do work. Listen, you the magician over there. Just pray for him that he can just move on and, and come up out of this insecure. Because, you know, this is the way that we was feeling. Right? Oh, poor Tink Tink. Did that mirror get reversed on you, Tink? Oh, Tink. You know what? But we ain't had nobody to pray for us when we was going through this. Did we, ladies? No, we didn't. But, you know, Tink. Tink, you know what, since, you know, since we be doing rituals and shit, okay, so we, we just going to um, pray for you, you know, that you get yourself together over there, because this ain't cute, Tink, this ain't cute, Tink, you, you having a lot of doubt over there about yourself, and you real insecure, and you looking real extra beautiful over there, Tink, come on, Tink, Tink, oh, Tink, oh, Oh, poor Tank. Tank, you need to dig in this shadow. You need to figure out why you so uncomfortable. Why are you so uncomfortable? That's why you be hiding in the shadow. You so uncomfortable. Oh, oh, Tankers. Tankers. You little stankers. Tank tankers. You little stank stankers. Poor pudding, Pop. Poor pudding. Poor pudding. I just wanna, I just wanted to get, I just wanted to give you a rebel card just for yourself because, you know, I think you needed a little rebel energy here, little tankers, because you're going through a lot right now, little tank. Little tank, I want to give you a little extra love, little tank, okay? Divine Feminine, don't y'all feel bad for little tank over here? Let me see it in the comments. Y'all feel bad for little tank over here? Divine Feminine, y'all think I should give him an extra card to help little tank? See, look, this is me giving him, see, look, look at the Lord working through me, y'all. Y'all let the... <laughs> Give little Tink another call of advice, Father. Okay, what does this say? Fuck them. <laughs> Father said, fuck them. They broke your heart. Father said, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> I'm reloading. Boom, boom, boom. Reloading. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. What the fuck? Hey, yeah, yeah, holy moly, donut shop. Let's take it over here to my divine and my fine. My divine and my fine, what's going on with you? Damn, damn, divine. Well, you busting shots over here at your ex girl. <laughs> Fuck that, <up. laughs> My divine find some gangsters. Hold on. They got some gangster spiritual guys up there, boy. <gasps> Listen. <laughs> they said, man, they broke your heart. Fuck them, man. Fuck that nigga. What? I said, father, please. Let's, let's just try to, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> please give my divine feminine some good. Listen. Ain't no forgiveness, B. Fuck you, man, boy. Fuck out I head out this motherfucker. Listen, you listen. Cause it ain't, ain't no forgiveness because you gonna make me act real childish out this motherfucker. Okay? Alright? The answer is no. We ain't dry over here. Okay? So if y'all think that shit's about to be dry, no. Do not let this do not for this part okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told y'all Divine Feminine is mirroring. Everything that y'all made her feel, that's what y'all feeling. But she's not doing it intentionally. Divine Feminine is just going forward and being successful within her own self. And right now, shit, okay. She don't forget this person. Shit is being illuminated to her. And she realized that that situation in the past is childish. But at the same time... It has awoken her inner child where she's able to regrow again. And she's really out there just skipping around. You know, like kids, 
You know how kids are in the summertime? They just out there playing in the dirt, playing in the sand. They make fun out of anything, you know, like literally playing in some sand and, you know, playing with Barbie dolls and sticks and stuff. They out there playing jacks and stuff. Like, Divine Feminine is out there truly, like, growing, living her best life. She don't forgive nothing. She don't forgive nothing, you know. And Divine Feminine, if you want to know if shit going to be dry forever, it's not going to be dry forever. And I understand that shit is a little bit dry God just wants you to re-experience life again on a different level. You know what I'm saying? Just go out here and have fun. Don't be too worried about trying to be in the everything. Worry about, keep working on yourself and painting that perfect picture of what you want. Being successful and working on yourself. You see what I'm saying? Continue doing this, Divine Feminine. Continue doing this. Continue doing this right here. You in the best place that you could ever be in your life, Divine Feminine. Continue doing this. Being successful and solid and single by your fucking self. And making every fucking thing happen that you want to make happen. Okay? Don't let this motherfucker try to come back in any type of room and trigger you. Fuck that shit. Do not allow yourself to operate in your pride and ego. Don't do that. You see what I'm saying? Okay? Don't operate there, you know, and that's why I want you, even though you don't forgive this person, don't let this person trigger you because he dry and you want to tell this nigga, no, fuck you. Don't let this person pull you down to, 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 to that level and you are mirroring right now. You know what I'm saying? Because this person is looking at the mirror of how this person cannot deal because you cut this person off and you don't give a fuck the same way when you were dealing with them and they was doing whatever the fuck they was doing. They ain't give a fuck. So it's like you've moved on and you 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 good. It's like you got your karma. You got your karma for dealing with this person as long as you did in this situation. And shit is dry right now. You see what I'm saying? Shit is dry, but everything happens for a fucking reason. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to forgive this person, but you don't have to be childish neither. The answer is no, you don't have to be childish. No, things are not going to be dry forever. Don't allow this person to allow you again to be pulled down into that lower ego. You know? Continue to do you and be your best person and pay this person no fucking attention. Because that is that person's mirror. Okay? Because they can't fucking have you no more. You see what I'm saying? That is the mirror. Every time this person looks at you, you are this motherfucker's karma. You see what I'm saying? Because they had, they lost the best thing that they could ever fucking have. You see what I'm saying? Fuck them. Let you continue to be successful. And no matter how they try to, you know, invade your space. You still ignoring the fuck out of them being successful. That's the hardest thing that they got to look at every day. Silenced, okay? You done silenced this motherfucker. Silenced. You don't see this motherfucker. Listen, you don't see this motherfucker. This motherfucker ain't in your brain no more. You don't speak to this motherfucker. This person is just dead to you. You understand what I'm saying? Completely silenced. You said, I ain't about to sell my motherfucking self out. I'm not about to sell my motherfucking self out fucking around with this person. You understand? Because this person don't have the same morals. And they'll sit up there and play like, oh, yeah, I can make this commitment. I can devote my life to priesthood or whatever the fuck. But deep inside, they got some dark ass shit. They ain't really cut out for this shit. And I ain't got time for be fucking with no goddamn sellout ass goddamn nigga. I ain't got time for that shit, nigga. You a sellout. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not about to sit there and sell myself out. You understand? All right? Divine Feminine feels like this person be medicating too much. Divine Feminine feels like whoever this is. And there's just emptiness. There's nothing in... There's nothing in, in her for this person. She don't want to deal with no one who is secretive. All right? All right? And like I said, childish. She don't want to deal with no one who is secretive and fucking childish. Do you understand? I told you. She, she feels like this person from the past is childish. It's childish as shit. And this whole situation with them was childish. They're not about to sell their stuff out again fucking around with you. They don't hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. You understand what I'm saying? Bitch, I'd rather go have a drink. You understand? I don't feel nothing for you. You know, and not only that, I'm, I'm serious. The divine feminine thinks that this person is a fucking lush. They're toxic. They drink too much and they're over there medicating and they are fucking empty inside. 
What the fuck would she want to go back to that for? To a drunk that's empty inside and don't have no fucking soul. That makes sense? No. This person is too secretive. They're always wearing a mask. But he's been unmasked. Divine Feminine sees exactly who this person is. This person's a childish ass idiot. And she ain't about to deal with it. Uh-huh. She ain't about to deal with it. What the fuck she gonna keep selling? She's not about to sell herself out for that shit no more. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Mm-mm. We ain't doing it. And you don't need no other car. So, where else we going? Where else we going? We going right here? All right. Please give me some. Ooh. What is this? The Nine of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, because this, this this person has a scratch on their head. Yeah, because I feel like, listen, whatever happened in this dream, y'all y'all had a fucked up dream. And I feel like it, it, it it's like a scar on your brain almost. Because whatever it was, I feel like it was like a nightmare. It was a nightmare. And you feel like you got to protect your brain. You got to protect your head. You know what I'm saying? You're guarding your thoughts and your dreams and stuff like that. The Queen of Coins. Yes, you were working towards the money. You were successful. I told y'all, Divine Feminine, the fool. She's got it by faith. <laughs> look, look at look at the fool out here looking like a bad bitch. Look at her. Damn, girl. Damn. Ooh, honey. You walking into the money? It ain't even funny. The page of swords. I'm sorry. I just went real quiet. I'm sorry. Hold on. The Ten of Cups. Four Swords. Nine of Coins. Seven of Cups. In the Moon. I feel honestly, I feel like you guys, I feel like whoever this person is from your past, um, I want to say y'all do have some type of telepathic connection with each other where y'all communicate a lot uh, telepathically, like when y'all were in y'all relationship, y'all did like almost that y'all could read each other's minds and stuff like that. And even when um, things were going on, like if you just, your intuition was always just on point, Divine Feminine, and you would have vivid dreams about bad shit that was going on. It was just like your dreams would tell you that something wasn't right. You see what I'm saying? And um, I feel like this person disrupted your dreams because they don't really know what's going on with you. Other than what the fuck they see online because they've been watching you online. You know what I'm saying? They seeing that you are just like, you You the queen of cups. You the fool. Like, you you out here just killing shit. And, and, and they're almost like wondering with this page of swords and just looking. How the fuck is this person not destroyed that our relationship is over? How the fuck is this person not destroyed? How the fuck did this person go and rest and heal herself like this and come out successful and, and, and secure on her own and just how the fuck did this, this person come out this heartbreak and our, and our relationship being this person just doesn't understand this person just doesn't understand especially when they they, they don't understand how you how you just out here you know and they thought that you know, by them contacting you like that in this in this dream, of, you know what I'm saying? They they think that you was gonna bump your head and you was gonna fall off, but you not. Like you don't give a fuck. Like, it don't it don't matter any type of way that you try to contact with them. Like you know, cause this moon over here is also someone that has like some level of kind of like psychic type of you know ability type of thing like that you know or at least that's how i'm taking it especially with that just with the energy of the you know 
And because <laughs> this person is trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is going on? How is this person so happy without me? How did this person... How is this person able to survive like this? Like, it's like they're howling out the moon. Like, what the fuck? What is this person's secret? What are they hiding? Like, what is going on? They're stalking. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? She should be guarded. She should be hurt. You know what I'm saying? Even after I try to contact this person in their dreams and try to... And I feel like even in the Divine Feminine, like some shit has been revealed to the Divine Feminine. Some secrets might have came out. And they think that you should be hurt and stuff like that. And it's like... You know, like I'm fighting for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I'm not... I, Divine Feminine don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This person thought that you was gone... It was going to be a bump on your head and, you know, you will be all tired and worn out, not ready to, you know, get yourself out there and fight again and shit like that. But Spirit said, fuck them. <laughs> Spirit said, fuck them. They must not know who the fuck they fuck with. This is Divine Feminine. This is the Queen of Coins. This is the fool. And don't she look fucking good? Do she look like she bothered? I told y'all up there that she was focused on her coin. Nigga, you must have fell and bumped your head. <laughs> you must have fell and bumped your head. Stop looking for us to be unhappy. <laughs> Stop looking. Look, this person is looking so hard, and they think that they they think that they them trying to come to you with this stinging, whatever stinging information, whatever these stinging ass vivid dreams or whatever. They thought that that shit was gonna hold you down. And it was gonna sting and hurt, nigga. I listen. I'm a mermaid. Okay. Fuck out of here. You, there's bigger things in the sea to be goddamn scared of than some fucking jellyfish. If you don't get your fucking weak ass out of here, coming over here in my fucking dreams, yearning and shit, nigga. Okay? Yearning and shit. Nigga, I don't yearn for you. Okay? I don't yearn for you. Stop looking for me to be unhappy. Only thing you looking at is me being successful than a bitch over here without you. Okay? What you see? I'm blocking the fuck out of anything you gotta say. You see, baby girl, in that goddamn um tub with the headphones on, she not paying attention to none of that shit. Okay, like I told you, Divine Feminine be taking her little spiritual ritual baths and shit. She done blocked you out of her mind in the name of Jesus. Didn't I tell you? Okay, she got one foot on, one shoe on, one shit off. One shoe on and one shoe off just in case she gotta hop out that damn tub and whoop your ass, okay? Pick up one of them stores and whoop your ass, okay? <laughs> Didn't I tell you Divine Feminine was taking spiritual baths? She was doing little spiritual bath cleansing rituals and shit because you trying to invade her head space. You see that? <laughs> Y'all see this, right? Protecting her mind. Okay? Come on now. Divine Feminine not playing with you. She focused on her money. Okay? If she got to do a couple spiritual cleanses so that she could keep her mind focused on the fucking money. Tuh. Divine Feminine not playing with you. Listen. I don't give a fuck what type of mysteries and secrets you trying to put out there in the universe. You ain't nothing curious. We ain't curious. Okay? You delirious. We ain't curious and you're delirious. So I feel like at some point in time, I feel like the Divine Masculine might be going, no, excuse me. The Your ex is over there might be going through a little bit of, um, you know... Might be having some psychopathic goddamn episodes over there because they don't know what the fuck is going on and they keep making bad fucking choices. I feel like they made very bad choices on whatever the fuck they select over there and they ass is miserable trying to figure out what the fuck is going on in your life and why the hell you so goddamn happy. Why for out thou is Divine Feminine so fucking happy? Let me tell you. Last spread. Please give us... <laughs> insight on why the divine feminine is so happy and please give us guidance in regards to the divine feminine in the future why for out thou is the divine feminine so happy in april come on why for out thou does the divine masculine uh want to invade our goddamn mental space why for out thou does the divine masculine have to find out that we the magician and we will poop pow so got poop pow surprise okay Open up your eyes, okay? Okay? 
why for our thousands to buy masking and stalking us and realizing that we living our best life uh, okay why for our thou or the tower in reverse okay what is that four pentacles yeah this nigga could listen that nigga could see it coming, but he couldn't avoid it. We snuck up out of there real quick. All right. Oh, oh no, hold on. Huh? This ain't us. Fuck going on? I could read this as a divine feminine, but that, ooh. Holy moly. Oh, you trying to get rid of this bitch that you done had this that you got pregnant that you don't want a baby with? <laughs> Ooh, boy. This Empress in reverse. And you wanna go to the star? <laughs> but you ain't got no money. <laughs> Ooh, buddy, but holy moly donut shop. So now let me stop. Now I'm gonna keep it 100. Okay? So let me tell you something. Let me, let me, let me, let me break it down. This is why the Divine Feminine is so happy, okay? Because she realized that she could not avoid the ending with you, okay? She could not avoid that shit because look what you was doing out there. And this is what you was going to drive her to. And you didn't even see this coming. See, she was about to fuck your ass up because you ain't know who you was playing with, Okay? She was about to get your ass fucked right the fuck on up. But she said, you know what? Um, I'm just going to avoid the tower falling down on me. And I'm just going to let you fall down on you and your boo-boo. Yeah, your little boo-boo that you over there fucking right there. Yeah, I'm just going to let that hatchet and all that shit fall down on your dumb ass and her. Okay? And I'm just going to get the fuck out of Dodge. And that's why the fuck she's happy. Because the tower falling down on y'all motherfuckers, okay? Divine Feminine got the fuck out the way. She let go. <laughs> She stopped holding on to you, okay? She stopped holding on to you. It was no value there, okay? That's like, she felt like she bought a lemon, okay? You a lemon, okay? You a sneaky, deceitful, okay? Treacherous little motherfucking snake, okay? And you sitting over there feeling stupid and feeling ashamed of yourself because you got caught doing some shit with some other bitch. And now you sitting over there having to lick your wounds and having to deal with the mental decisions of what the fuck you decided to do. That's why Divine Feminine... Because look at you, bitch. Look at you. You feel, you feel ashamed of yourself, don't you? Okay, Divine Feminine will turn her back on you because you done got caught. You always trying to do these little mental goddamn... Yeah, mental games, you always trying to pull something off and trying to motherfucker. yeah, uh-huh, no, you can't do that shit no more, bitch. Don't nobody want you no more. Uh-huh, now you stuck over there with that old bitch, okay? That old ugly bitch. That old dirty bitch. That old fat turkey neck ass, motherfucking will to beat, back ass, gorilla in the mist, looking ass bitch. Uh-huh. Yeah, and some of y'all got the bitch pregnant, okay? So she was already looking like an old... Fucking gorilla in the mist, silver back, fucking <laughs> leprechaun neck, fucking squirtle back, looking like something out of motherfucking Pokemon, looking like a goddamn Charizard, okay? Charizard face ass bitch, okay? So now the bitch pregnant, okay? She looking like a Charizard goddamn double patty with cheese out here, okay? <laughs> Charizard neck. Double patty with cheese ass, bitch. Okay? That you done got pregnant. That you gotta wake up to. <laughs> Charizard. <laughs> Double patty. Neck ass. With cheese face ass. Silverback. Gorilla. Magilla gorilla. Thriller in the Manila. No chiller. <laughs> oh, nigga, you want the star. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want the star because, um, yeah, we was giving you the milk and honey. 
Lovey, we was giving you the milk and honey, lovey. We was giving you all the milk and honey. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> we not no big motherfucking Sasquatch fucking ankle ass bitch. <laughs> father, okay, father, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> you ain't got no money anyway. Both of y'all over there fucked up. <laughs> in heaven <laughs> you can't figure what two which ways about yourself your mind all fucked up over there that's why you over here trying to invade our dreams because you all fucked up we're gonna pray for you okay we're gonna pray let us pray sight we good <laughs> It's not funny. Mm -mm. We gonna be good. We gonna be good. Come on, come on, ladies. Come on. We not gonna do this. Cause this is childish. See, this, this, this ladies. Didn't we say every time that this nigga come in, any time I got anything to do, we, it's childish. Come on now. Come on, ladies. We ain't about to do. We, mm -mm. we gonna be better than this. We gonna be better than this. We gonna put our hands down here, okay? Cause we don't know what these motherfuckers going through. But only thing divine feminine know is that we double ass good. We super good over here. Okay? And we rather be by ourselves independent. Alright? With a full foundation with some money in our pockets than be waking up to a fuck nigga. So y'all be good. Okay? We over here um, being twisted and twirling like Merlin. Okay, bringing in greatness. All right, so y'all be easy. Um, we gonna pray for y'all. Um, uh, don't send us no messages. Um, don't 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 do that. Cause you gonna get your feelings hurt. Stop, stop, stop this. Okay, y'all be good. Uh, I love y'all. Y'all love me cause I love she. I lo I damn sure love she. Y'all love she. Okay, say it with me, Shira, Mira. Okay, we love Shira, Mira. The Divine Feminine. Okay? Yes, indeed. Ladies, say it with me. It's the takeover. The wait is over. These niggas big pussy mad over here. <laughs> Tell them. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, listen. If y'all want to book a personal private reading, follow the instructions at the beginning of the video. Because I'm chuckled, bitch. <laughs> I'm almost scared to go into Divine Masculine. Because I'm about to do the Divine Masculine right after this. Lord have mercy. Ooh, I'm almost nervous for these poor boys. Oh, Tank. Oh, Tank. Poor Tank. All right, let's 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 go find ladies. Y'all meet me over at the Divine Masculine Reed. We're going to find out what's going on with Lord Tank Tank, okay? Fuck them. <laughs> I'm gone.